This is Twit. Okay, I found something about HDR, high dynamic range, a subject of great importance to me because I think it really improves the quality of the picture. I'm talking with Alan Chalmers, uh, the Director of Innovation at Go HDR, an offshoot of the University of Warwick and the research that you've done there. Yes, that's right. We're looking at uh, spinning out the uh, commercializing a compression algorithm which allows high dynamic range action to happen and happen now. Right. And this is very important, as I said, because it really improves the quality of the picture even more than more pixels in UHD, doesn't it? Absolutely. Because if you've got a very bright scene and with dark areas, you may have lots of pixels, but they could all be under or overexposed. With high dynamic range, you don't have that problem. So HDR actually complements 4K, which makes it very attractive for, you know, if you want to buy a 4K television, you can then also see the full range of lighting in, that, in the scene. Now, do cameras capture that full dynamic range at this point, or do they have to be updated? Uh, they need a bit of clever magic, which we provide. So basically what you want to do is capture multiple exposures and then merge them into the single HDR frame. Uh, and we have the ability to do that in real time at 30 frames a second. At 30 frames a second. Wow, that's amazing. Now, how long has this uh, research been going on? We've been going for about 10 years, I guess, research. The company spun out about five years ago. Uh, we were way ahead of the market, and only now people are realizing what benefits HDR could have. And that's where we're looking at now actually commercializing it and, and taking it further from there. Now, I'm really interested in this head-mounted display. What's this all about? This is the future. Because we want to combine, now we can capture the real-world lighting. We want to actually use it in, in a multi-sensory experience, whole virtual experience. So once you've got the high-dimensional range into the, to the visuals, we can also add smell, 3D sound, feel, etc. So you can have the full experience of life uh, authentically because you've got the high-dimensional range video there as well. Can't wait to try that one out. Well, we have to wait a little while. Maybe a year we should be ready with this. So we're working on it. As part of our, now we've got the real full HDR pipeline. The next step is to put it into some more sort of, yeah, interesting products as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I ran into John Hatchett here with Go HDR. And uh, tell us about how it is that you can capture high dynamic range with current camera technology. So a lot of our work is to do with using commodity cameras, like you see behind me, to capture high dynamic range rather than expensive prototype systems. And we have previously built a dual camera system out of Canon 5Ds, but the drawback of using two cameras is the parallax issues you gain. So now we're moving towards single camera solutions. Now before you get there, uh, the two camera solution, you're shooting one of the cameras you're, you're, uh, at one exposure and another camera yeah. at the different exposure? Each, each camera is doing two separate exposures and we're merging four exposures to make a frame at 30 frames per second. Um, our future systems will hopefully look at um, using one camera at a much higher frame rate to gain four or five exposures at 30 frames a second. But the problem with one camera is, is uh, something called ghosting? So yes, at the moment our current cameras are running at 60 frames a second, merging three exposures, which gives you quite a large amount of ghosting per frame. But this is obviously something I feel we can eliminate in the future and come up with a much more seamless view. With a very high frame rate? With a very high frame rate, yes. Well, good luck to you. Thank you.